and gentlemen, welcome to the grand final of Furnace Building Society's Charity Challenge. Tonight at the Lancaster Grand Theatre. From across the Northwest, our contestants have gained the chance to champion their charities and win a share of more than £3,000 in prize money in the Charity Challenge Final. Tonight's been a really fantastic evening. It's the fourth time that I've attended the Charity Challenge and it's the first time that I've done so as a judge and it's nerve-wracking, I can assure you. Um, it, the high standard that we've experienced tonight is, is typical of the four years that we've seen so far. Um, very difficult to, to choose a winner, um, but in the end we got there and we're over the moon that uh, so many people have been helped charity-wise in terms of all going away with the cheque from the furnace tonight. And the winner of the Furnace Building Society Charity Challenge 2014 and getting a cheque for St Mary's Hospice for £1,000 is Rita Boff! It's Rita! Well done! Wow! There's your cheque for £1,000. I'm incredibly pleased. I'm very surprised. It's speechless. How pleased are you? I was standing, standing in the back row thinking, no, just stand and look, so there's no need to be nervous. You know. And what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was just, like, speechless. You're pleased to have won the, uh, the money for St Mary's? I'm really Definitely. pleased about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, they work so hard trying to raise money. Um, they do all sorts of fundraising activities all the time. So I'm just pleased that this was something that came their way without them having to put in all the effort. What do you think of tonight's show? Amazing, wasn't it? Definitely, I think, a step up from last year, even may I say. Def I definitely, I mean, I, it's hard to say that you could get more talent than last year. Change, you lost me, now I know you're sorry, and we were sweet, but you chose the last way. How am I going to decide a winner out of these? It was amazing. What what the standard tonight is absolutely incredible. Some original songs which were amazing to think that were original songs, but some of the cover versions were like I mean X Factor standard, Britain's Got Talent standard. I mean you could imagine watching them on a Saturday night on TV and just go, wow. Yeah, it wasn't just like singing as well. There's kind of a real sort of broad spectrum of talent. Yeah. There's, there's the comedy guys, there was mm. the, the ballroom dancing. Dancers, you know, that's, yeah. That was really entertaining as well. Yeah. And they looked like they were having so much fun as well. Singing-wise, some of the performers tonight looked like they were kind of really sort of living. Do you know what I mean when I say living the song? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. really kind of, you know. In the moment. Yeah, and and when they do that, you kind of feel it yourself as well. Are you looking forward to handing that money over to St Mary's? I really it's going to am. Be fantastic. Yeah, it is. It's going to be really good. Should, should we surprise yeah. them and just sort of go and knock on the door? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it would be great. There's your cheque for £1,000. Very dear to her heart, they do so much work in Ulverston, where Rita's from. St Mary's Hospital, well done.